How's it going everybody? Dotodoy here back with another Dragon Ball Fighters video and this time we are taking a look at some brand new Kefla gameplay. This footage comes to us via the open rec stream that took place today uh, which they revealed a ton of information about so much so that I can't really get into it all in this video so we are just going to focus on the character Kefla as of now and we will get into some of the crazier stuff later on although we will have to bring up some stuff when talking about why I think Kefla is going to be such a strong character. But to begin with let's go over a few things that are just pretty basic checklist stuff to see how strong we can expect the character to be on day one. The first question is obviously does Kefla have a low hitting 2L and the answer to that is yes and as a bonus it seems to have pretty decent range and it's relatively fast. Next thing up on our list of things to check is what is Kefla's assist or rather what are her three assists now that every character has three assists. Kefla's first assist appears to be a relatively basic projectile which is pretty good to have. It covers the screen nicely and can still be used when you're putting pressure on the opponent up close. As for Kefla's second assist let me know if this move looks familiar to you, but it appears to be Vegito's kicks. This is actually Kefla's second light in her auto combo, but they moved it over to her assist just to give her some more block stun pressure, uh, which is very much appreciated. Right now, this is kind of looking like the assist I will be running if I play Kefla, but of course that is subject to change, I guess depending on whatever team you're running her on. Now moving on to Kefla's third and final assist, it's actually another one of her special moves where she charges up her energy, dashes towards the opponent and throws it, and then teleports above them and knocks them back down to the ground. Now it is important to note that the second step of this assist does seem to happen for majority of the cast C assist and typically off of these assists you can still combo slash snap the opponent after they've been hit to the ground. So really the C assists have a ton of potential in combos and setting up certain snap things in the corner. Definitely worth taking a deeper look at on day one. Another thing I feel the need to mention about this character is that her level three is just that. It's just a level three. I saw some speculation that it might be a level five considering how long it is, but no it just appears to cost the normal three bars which I'm all for, which you know is totally okay with me. I don't need it to be a level five, but it is good to have that option just in case she ends up being your anchor and you really need an extra way to kill. Level fives can be a great way to get the job done. In terms of other specials, it really doesn't seem like Kefla is on the level of someone like a Gogeta Blue. She more just has that level one we saw in her initial trailer where she throws the orbs and they come in one by one, kind of like a Piccolo Hell Zone type of super. And now we also know that she has a different level one, which looks super cinematic, where she takes those same red orbs and comes down on the opponent with them. I assume this is going to be her DHC ability. I can't remember if I saw that confirmed anywhere, but I expect this to be her DHC ability for sure. Kefla's basic special moves don't seem to differ too widely from the ones we already saw in the trailer. So we have things like her dash, her energy spin into a throw, her projectiles, which she can EX and then throw out two projectiles instead of one. But she does seem to have a really quick dash attack that I'm not sure if you can change between a low or a high, but that appears to be the only special move that we hadn't already seen already. Not like it really matters though, because they definitely built Kefla up around the idea of being this super fast character that applies a ton of pressure. And for that reason, the dash on this character looks insane. We already know she can use it to dash down. And I talked a little bit about how the recovery from this move is going to be important for its use in mix-ups. And I'm very happy to report that it looks like she recovers really fast. Also, I gotta show you guys this clip of just how fast this move actually is and how much distance it covers when used in neutral. So let's look at the beginning of this game here. You can see the two Keflas on either side and they're going to call out one assist a piece each to start the round. And I want you to try and keep track of both of Kefla's. All right, ready, go. All right, did you miss it? <laughs> the Kefla's basically switched places and went full screen opposite of each other because they both dashed. Man, if that's the kind of speed we're looking at, Kefla is going to be a monster when it comes to mix-ups. Especially when you take a look at some of these really basic day one block strings, it looks like she has a lot of buttons to throw and a lot of options to go to, especially when you mix and match that with assist. Now, this is the part of the video where I'm going to talk about a system mechanic update that we didn't know about until this open rec stream and something that I want to cover in a more big in a more big video talking about all of the changes but I have to mention in here to talk about why I think Kefla is going to be so scary on day one and that is tick throws if you aren't aware basically it's just when you throw an opponent after jabbing them or something like that to make them fear another attack basically it's just a really cheap fast throw this is completely new to Dragon Ball fighters as usually if you wanted to do something like this you would have to jab wait for a little bit but just long enough that your opponent could kind of guess what you were going to do anyway and then drag Dragon Rush. Now it's jab Dragon Rush right away. And when you have a character as fast and as deadly as Kefla, that jab Dragon Rush option is a lot scarier. Of course, that goes for quite a few characters in the game, but Kefla is one of them that I think will benefit from that the most. Other than that, a few quirks about Kefla's moveset is she does seem to appear to have a double hitting jumping 2M, a normal down heavy in the air that you can combo off of like any other BNB in the game, and her level 3 seems to be very forgiving in terms of what it can hit. It basically goes full screen and covers the entire screen. 
and transitions into a hard knockdown very naturally. Other than that, I really don't have too much to say on this character as I was only able to catch three games as well as the breakdown on her moves, but it's already looking very good for Kefla. If you're a fan of Kefla, do not even worry about her being low tier. There's basically no way she can be low tier now. At very worst, she could end up maybe mid tier if some of her stuff doesn't end up working out or some of her frames don't add up, but yeah, it doesn't, she's not gonna be bad, dude. She's not gonna be bad. Let me know down below what you guys thought of this Kefla gameplay and if you watched the stream, all of the other changes, but mostly Kefla. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts on that a ton. And while you're down there, if you like this video and the channel, make sure to the like button and subscribe to stay up to date on all things Dragon Ball Fighters Season 3, as well as other fighting games. There should also be some more videos on your screen right now if you want to watch some more of them right away. But other than that, I have been Dr. Dewey. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way to the end, and I will see you in the next one.